Hi guys, welcome back to Learning English and Literature. In this video, I will analyze a work poem, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. From the title itself, you can easily deduce that someone is very, very close uh, to the end of his life. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The person is telling someone, it says, don't calmly and peacefully accept death. Now, the elderly should passionately fight against death as their lives come to an end. Now, this clearly shows that the person now does not want this person to die, does not want this person to leave, he wants the person to keep fighting. He wants the person to stay on. He tells the person, resist, resist the oncoming darkness of your death. Okay. Um, death here, it's like an enemy. And he is, look, look, at the, look at the language, rage, rage against the dying of the light. The light here represents life. Uh, the dying is the darkness as if your eyes are about to close and which signals uh, the end of one's uh, cycle of life on earth. Uh, sorry, one's life on earth. So the person I saying, resist the uncommon darkness of your death. Try not to die. Though uh, you are close to death, do not let death take you. Though wise men at their end, no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning there, do not go gentle into that good night. Smart people at the end of their lives understand that death is inevitable. In fact, not only smart people understand that death is inevitable, but because they haven't yet said anything startling or revolutionary, nothing powerful to shock the world like a bolt of lightning, refuse to accept death peacefully. What he's saying is, that, look, you have not made impact on the world. So do not accept death yet. Do not go gentle into that good night. Don't just accept death peacefully, willingly. Do something for the world. Do something that you will be known for in the world. That's what the person is saying. Good man, the last wave by crying how bright, the afraid deeds, deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. This is another repetition. Rage, rage, selling the person fight. Do not accept death, even though death is near. Good people seeing the last moments of their lives pass by like a final wave. They mourn the fact that what they were not able to accomplish, that they were not able to accomplish more. Like the person said saying the previous stanza, do not just accept death yet when you have not done anything to uh, affect, okay, the world, to help your world, to be the change you want to see in the world, according to Gandhi. So um, some, um, good people, when they know that death is near, they mourn the fact that, look, we have not, have not done much, okay? Because even small actions might have moved about joyously in a green bay, that is, could have made a difference in the world, but they want to do more. So uh, they don't want to accept death right now. So they resist and they resist the oncoming darkness of their deaths. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late, they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Now, daring people who have lived in the moment and embraced life to the fullest, Metaphorically, catching a joyful ride across the, uh, across the sky and the sun, realize too late that the sun is leaving them behind and that they must die. But they refuse to accept death peacefully. He repeats that line, do not go gentle into that good night. When death comes, whether you are ripe uh, for, death, uh, for death, you are the right age, do not just accept death. Stay on, hang on, do something for the world to see. That's what the person is saying. Great men near death who see with blinding sight 
blind eyes could blaze like meteors and decay, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Another repetition of that line, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do not accept death peacefully. Serious people about to die realize with sudden clarity that even those who have lost their sight can be like meteors, be full of light and happiness. Those people who have lost their ways, okay? They can still be a source of happiness. So they resist. It's telling them, resist death as they come. And you, my father, clearly, the, uh, the person that's referring to his father, who is uh, near death, telling him to hang on, telling him to fight, telling him to resist, telling him not to go gentle into that good night. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, Dad, are close to death, as if on the peak of a mountain, burdened and gifted with your passionate emotions. That's why I said, curse, bless. I pray to you, do not go peacefully into that good night. Okay? Father, hang on. Now, th this poem is, uh, the language is simple. It's an expression of uh, emotions. The right, uh, the person does not want uh, the person he was is referring to to die is telling the person, hang on, hang on. Thank you very much.